Talk to me about that awesome catch down the sideline to set up the go-ahead score. Oh uh, well, he could he wasn't fast enough, I guess. And my quarterback got a pretty good arm, so it just happened. And you typed up the sideline. Oh, that I guess uh, a lot of rope. Uh, I don't know really. But a lot of also, rope work. Man, you also went and grabbed that and brought it down. That was a miraculous catch, Hodge. Oh, it's I guess my height and he was a little shorter, so I had to do what I had to do. But you caught it, you reached over him, you brought it in, you stayed in bounds, and that set up the go-ahead score. Come on, man, don't be so modest. Talk to me, man. <laughs> well, I guess it's a, I don't know really what to say, but um, it's just I work hard at practice, so it happens a lot. I think it's your hard work and your experience from last year because you started coming out of, your, you know, you started coming around last year, you started coming out and, and coming on into your own. Uh, yes, sir, that helped me a lot, being a sophomore coming in, uh, and starting with a lot of talent, it helped me a lot. And learning from a couple of players that I had last year, it are, really helped me. Are you helping out the youngsters like they helped you out last year? I know that, uh, you know, Ware and the other guys and Finley took you under their wing and helped you out. What are you doing to help the young guys? Oh, yes, sir. I'm just uh, getting a couple of them in in the weight room sometimes, running a couple of sprints after practice and stuff like that. It looks like your routes are real preci precision. Oh, yes, sir. We uh, go over routes a lot every day, me and my coach, Coach Walters. He uh, really pushes me when I do my route running. I think I think your route, the precision on that route is in your catch and standing in bounds is what really made it. Um, I, it's really just my coach. He pushes me a lot harder than any other coach, I guess. Hodge, awesome catch, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Talk to me about your defense tonight. I'm very proud of our defense. Uh, we made a few mistakes, you know, throughout the uh, throughout the scrimmage, but you know we've got a lot of young guys out there and. You know, I'm very positive. I try to stay positive with them. We, we've got some mistakes that we got to clean up, and we're going to clean it up before next week. All the mistakes I saw, Coach, were a couple of deep passes that got by, but then you made up for them uh, all the time picking off two passes after giving up the deep pass. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it feels really good having him back there in the secondary. I mean, he's usually playing in the corner. He's playing a cornerback. You know, we've moved him to free safety, and uh, he's done a great job for us, and I think we're going to have a, a great season with him back there. I think Javante had two picks tonight. Yes, sir. One came after a deep pass. Yes, sir. To, in the end zone. And then at the other end, when you guys were down at the, I believe the, in the, they were in the red zone, you guys shut them down with a fumble. Yes, sir. Talk to him about the defense, man, the aggression. There was some hitting. I think your defense is stepping up, and that's how you win championships. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, you know, our philosophy is 11 men to the football. We want to swarm to the football, and that's what, that's what we preach. We preach it every day. And, you know, no matter what, what negative happens, you know, we're going to keep pushing forward. We're going to keep pushing them to have 11 men to the football. That's you know, what, that's what's going on. I'm seeing yes, some sir. swarming. I'm yes, seeing sir. swarming to the ball. Yes, I'm sir. so impressed. I'm so excited. 
because uh, you guys are overachieving and it's really exciting. I think it's been a great year, especially with the defense. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. What are you looking forward with Crockett Cooper coming back out here next week? Yes, sir. What, what do you think they're going to bring? I think they're going to bring a lot to the table. They have some athletes, but we have some athletes too. You know, like I said, we've got some things that we got to fix at practice this week, and we're going to fix it. But I look forward. Those are the games that you look forward to. Those are the games that you remember, and that's what we're we're coming we're coming ready and prepared. And it seemed like Grapeland has sort of a hurry up style offense, and they were really throwing a lot. Yes, sir. They have a you know, to be honest with you, you know, um, number seven who they hit the big pass on. He was our quarterback last year. He's an athlete. He's very fast. Um, the kid, the um, number twelve, who's playing quarterback, the tall kid. He's a young guy. Um, they've got a pretty good little combination going there. But you know, I mean. I feel like the defense stepped up once we figured out their game. We stepped up and we held them. Thank you, Coach. Okay, thank you. Talk to him about playing running back this year, man. Uh, well, running back is a big part of our offense now since Carson gone. So, like, all of us got to step up and work together to do it. So, we're just stepping up and doing it. Man, that long run, that second one in the game simulated quarter, that was all you, bro. That was hard running downhill and you wouldn't go down. Yeah, sorry. We just. I just wanted, I just wanted to touch down real bad, so I just when I think got one. Demetri, that was all determination, man. Yes, sir. Are you excited to be back in the backfield? Yes, sir. I, I really am, cause like at the beginning, I really didn't want to be in the back, but then again, like when the season started getting closer and closer, I was like, I think I just want to play running back this year, so I get my name out there and people can start looking at me. You're a very emotional player, and I think that's a great place for you to be. Oh uh, yes, sir. It, it's come with the game. What do you expect from yourself this year at running back? Um, I just expect me, to, you know, fumbles, get a bunch of yards and touchdowns, and don't let my team down and pick up a player when they down. Now, Demetri, I know how you are. If you do fumble, man, don't get down. Don't beat yourself up and turn it, you turn your head upside down. Just keep on going, man. Keep getting in there and getting the next play. Yes, sir. Demetri, I'm really excited for you to running your ball, man. You're doing really good. Thank you. And that score tonight really took it sealed the deal. Yeah. Well, how about the line? What is the line doing for you? Well, our line is. It, Doing pretty good line work every day, every day at practice and getting harder and harder. So uh, I guess we, we talk about it every time we get in the locker room that, man, we got to step up, man. It's our senior year. Last year here, we got to do something. So we put on so people can be like, hey, I remember those boys when they was in high school and stuff. And every time we talk to them, they get in their head and they go out there and just put, put 110% in every time. And talk about Javante Oliphant. What's he helping you with? Uh, Javante, if he wasn't there for quarterback, we want to know what we do. He read the plays, pull it when he need to pull it, and give it when he need to give it. If, if, if he got the ball, he going to go with it. Just, just, just straight up. I appreciate it, Demetri. All right. All right. All right, man. Good game, bro. And Javante, talk to me about tonight, man. You had a couple picks, a couple touchdowns. Uh, yes, sir. It went good. It went well. Uh, defense. Defensively, we had a mindset. 11 into the ball, and I just happened to be the first man there. So you guys were swarming to the ball tonight? Yes, sir. They were um, running sort of a hurry-up style offense. What, what was that doing to you? Uh, it was a little quicker than we're used to, but we adjusted it quickly and we made big plays and made a stop, got back on offense. Talk about that big pass play to Hodge. <laughs> we had been working on this play in practice, and I just threw it deep, and he had to be there. And then you, and you went in for the go-ahead? Uh, yes, sir. Just a regular read, and we went through. We talked last week about how you guys are sort of picked to have a down season, but I cannot see that. Do not see. I see you guys overachieving. I do believe it's motivating you, just like we talked about last week. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Uh, yes, sir. Every every day we come out, we work hard. We go in the weight room, just like everybody else, and we're putting up numbers that people wouldn't have, wouldn't have expect out of it. I tell you what, man, you guys are looking good, and I've always, you know, you know, you're my boy, man, the best defender in, in the district. You lit the dude up over here on the sideline. You had a couple big hits tonight. And that, that pumps the team up, doesn't it? I mean, what do you say about that? Uh, just being a natural instinct for the ball, keep coming to it. Javante, good job tonight, man. What do you think is going to happen next week out here versus Crockett? Uh, it'll be a show. <laughs> 7.30, August 26th, be there. Appreciate you, bro. Trey, talk to me about you running the ball tonight. It was my first time running the ball ever for a high school experience. I liked it a lot. I think with more practice, I could probably be just as good as anybody else. I think so too, man. That's what it takes is hard work. What do you do to make yourself better? I just strive to be one of the best. I try to make myself as strong as I possibly can. Already knowing that there's people stronger than me, it just makes me want to go harder. Well, so you, t you take motivation from deep down. Does Javante Oliphant help you? Javante teaches me a lot. Over the past few weeks, he's tried teaching me as many stuff or things as I could. And he taught me most of all how to believe in myself and know that I can do it if nobody else thinks I can. 
You know, I've seen you come a long way. I've seen you come a long way. Can you tell me, did you learn anything from Carson Mack with his experience here and your experience learning from him? Carson taught me many different running styles. A few of them are what I did tonight, just to hold run hard. Next time I'll run with more agility and more balance. Talk a little bit more about what Carson taught you and how you used it tonight. That's, just, that's interesting you touched upon that. He taught me how to run hard, run through blockers, know how to get behind the pullers. He taught me how to run with great balance, with agility, jump over anyone. He taught me how to maneuver through the linemen, get through the gaps. If I see a hole, go for it. And if you can't like judge your line, then make your own decision and go through the play. And I'm play it as your own. I'm rarely seeing you go down first hit. Oh, I try to run as hard as I can because I know I might not be the fastest person on the field every time. But if I can get through the line and run hard, then I know I can get a few yards. Yeah, but I, again, I think that you know, it takes more than one guy to hit you to bring you down. You're, you're going through that first hit. It's taken a few guys to bring you down. You're not going down easy, man. I like to think of myself as like a run hard player, but I think with more practice and more coaching by my coaches, I can become just as good. Do you see yourself swinging out and catching maybe some screen passes? I could probably do that if I really set my mind to it, which I will. I like to learn as much as I can from my coach, Jardy. He really taught me a lot and how to be strong mentally and the discipline that the whole team has, including me. All we do is run every day and that came in handy tonight. I'm gonna tell you what, man, you're a natural born leader. That's a great attitude to have and you keep it up and do not stop that. Yes, sir. And you work with those youngsters just like they worked with you because you definitely got a great mindset, my man, and great determination. Yes, sir. I look forward to watching you play. Thank you. The defense is really stepping up and I think you guys are uh, proving a lot of people wrong. Talk about that for me, please. We came a long way. If we can't get it done on offense, we'll, we'll make sure we can get it done on defense. Seems like the defense is swarming to the ball. That's what we be. That's what we talk. Is that what you're working hard to do? Yes, sir. What do you What do you bring to the table yourself? What do you, What do you expect out of yourself, and how do you make yourself better? I expect myself to be as good as I can be, and hit as hard as I can. Talk to me about the game versus Grapevine tonight, and their hurry up style offense. They got to the ball a lot quicker than I thought they would, so I had to step up my game a little bit, is what it did. They passed the ball off a lot tonight. What did that do for you? It caused me to get cut, but I avoided the cut. What do you expect out of Crockett next week? I expect a good game. What about, what about yourself? What are you going to do to prepare? I just got to get a little stronger, a little faster, and I'll be ready. All right, man. We look for big things out of you. We yes, appreciate sir. your time. Yeah, I felt like we had another good aggressive scrimmage with those guys. Uh, they came out from what I, you know, from what they could tell me from last year. They were, they seemed to be, you know, quite a bit more aggressive. Had some physicality to them that that maybe they didn't see last year. And so I thought we matched that equally well. Um, you know, we had put some good drives together in our in our uh, in our scrimmage portion of it. Once we got out in the live quarter, man, we, we really got after it. Had a couple of deep balls, which is good to see. But we can see we can stretch the field and we can run it too. So we're we're pretty excited about the enthusiasm from the kids. Talk to me about Javante Oliphant. Yeah, he, he's a free roamer back there playing that free safety. He's a big center fielder. Uh, so he, he, he breaks on the ball. He reads the quarterback real well. So, you know, he, he did a good job with those breaks on that. Man, you got a stable of running backs. Talk to me about your stable of running backs. <laughs> yeah, we like that. Uh, we said we couldn't replace Carson Mack. You know, we can't replace, you know, those 2,000 yards with one guy. So we, we, we told ourselves to begin with going into camp that we're going to replace it with three or four guys. And we certainly got some guys that can get downhill and run the ball hard. So we're excited about that too. Hard running tonight by those backs, especially number three. I don't know his name, but that, that goal line, that one yard touchdown off the goal line was one of the hardest runs I've seen. <laughs> right, that's the senior Russ Kennard. Uh, and, and, and most of those guys have not really gotten to carry the ball very much in the last couple of years. Uh, when you got a guy like Matt, you don't really, you know, <laughs> you don't really need to do that. So uh, they're really growing into it, and it's exciting to see because we we feel like we can get the ball to any one of them and get us three or four yards in a crunch. Your defense really stepped up. I know with a couple of picks after deep plays, and then we had a goal line stop. Right. We learned a lot in this preseason. But what I'm curious that we haven't learned is how are you going to replace lights out Jose Hernandez, the guy who only missed one PAT last year. I believe he was 34 of 35, and it was because of the weather and a bad snap. Who is going to be your kicker? Eric Salazar. Watch the name. Appreciate it, Coach. What do you think is going to happen out here versus Crockett next week? What are you looking forward to? <laughs> it's going to be an absolute war. There's no doubt. These kids know each other 30 miles down the road. They talk on Twitter. They do their thing. Uh, I expect an all-out war when we get down here Friday night. Sort of a homecoming for you too, huh, Coach? Uh, a little bit, yes, sir. Yeah, I've coached with Coach Thompson in the past and, and just last semester at, at Crockett, the first semester in football season. So it's going to be fun. The kids, they've got great kids over here, and it's going to be exciting. Appreciate your time, Coach. Yes, sir. Thank you.